candidates for New York City Mayor making their final pleas to voters on why they should be picked to lead the city. Turn things over to Fox News' Robert Moses. He's live in Clinton Hill, Brooklyn, with the very latest in all of this. Robert, what can you tell us this morning? Bianca, I can tell you the polls just opened, and by the end of this day, we will know who becomes the city's 110th mayor. This is a transformative yeah. moment, on, on, and all you have to do yeah. is to vote. That's right. Today, New Yorkers will choose between 61-year-old Eric Adams, the Brooklyn Borough President and former state senator and NYPD captain who is looking to become the city's second black mayor, and 67-year-old Curtis Lewa, the founder of the Guardian Angels, known for his omnipresent red beret. If uh, I'm lucky enough to become mayor, the beret goes. Maybe I'll give you a little preview here. One of the reasons I wear the beret is because I'm losing hair. The beret may not be going anywhere because a recent poll showed Sliwa trailing Adams by 36 percentage points. But as he campaigned alongside Sliwa, former Governor George Pataki reminded voters that polls have been wrong before, as they were before he beat then incumbent Governor Mario Cuomo. They were also wrong in 2016. We made that mistake with Donald Trump. We thought it couldn't happen, and we saw what happened. We're not going to make that mistake. On election eve, Adams and Sliwa traded insults. Adams has called his opponent a Trump mini-me and a clown. We are not responding to the buffoonery of someone that thinks our city is a circus because they are clowns. Sliwa says Adams would only perpetuate the vaccine mandates that Mayor Bill de Blasio enacted, mandates that Sliwa vehemently opposes. You want Eric Adams, then you're going to be electing a person who is not friends of the cops, firefighters, sanitation workers, especially the hospital workers and teachers, and is de Blasio 2.0. Speaking of de Blasio, Adams trained some of his verbal fire on him and his work ethic. I'm an enig en enigma. They're not used to someone committed and dedicated to the city. Believe it or not, Everyone does not do a nine to five in this city. That's right. Some people are working around the clock. And if you are a nine to five mayor, you can't understand the issues of 24 hours, seven day a week. Plenty of other offices besides mayor are on the ballot in the city today. All 51 city council seats are up for grabs. Voters will also elect five new borough presidents, a new public advocate, and comptroller. Adams votes in the next hour or so in Bedsty, just a short distance away from where we are right now. Sliwa will vote at 10 on the Upper West Side, and a little wrinkle here, he promises to bring one of his 16 cats to the polls with him to bring attention to his advocacy for no-kill shelters. Bianca and Dan, back to you. Never a dull moment, Robert. Thank you very much.